Well, are you researching Carrollton, Virginia as a place that you might want to live if you want to be close to Virginia Beach, uh, Chesapeake, the south side of the peninsula of Hampton Roads. Well, today all we're going to get into all about Carrollton, Virginia today. The good stuff, the not so good stuff, and what it's just like to live in Carrollton. And we're starting right now. Hey, my name is Sam Sansalone, and I'm a real estate agent in Hampton Roads, Virginia. And if it's your first time to the channel, I'm so glad you're here. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and that like button. If you like my videos, hit that like button. It really helps me out greatly. And I help people from all over the world move to the area. If you have any questions about moving to Virginia Beach or Chesapeake or any of the cities around here, including Carrollton, let me know. I'll drop my contact information in the description below. I'll do whatever I can to help you move to this area. Well, in today's video, we're talking all about Carrollton, the great stuff and the negative stuff. So today we're gonna get into where it is, the history behind Carrollton, and of course the biggest thing is the real estate here in Carrollton. And I'll, we'll do some drive-throughs of the neighborhoods and the, this how it feels like in this area, as well, as well as shopping, school districts, and this things to do because one of the biggest questions here is if you're moving to Carrollton, you know, is there enough to do to keep you occupied? We'll talk about that too. Well, first of all, where is Carrollton? Well, if you look on the map, you'll see that it's on the western side of this Hampton Roads area where Virginia Beach is, Chesapeake is, over towards Suffolk. If you go north of Suffolk and northwest, you'll see this area called Carrollton. It's a really small town, but the reason why it's so interesting here is because it's close to uh, the Suffolk and south side of the Virginia Beach area, as well as you're very close to the peninsula, which includes Hampton, Newport News, Williamsburg, and all the other cities around there. So this area has become more attractive to people as they're researching this area because of the proximity to both sections, especially places like Langley Air Force Base. It's about 30 minutes from there. And it's about 40 to 45 minutes away from Norfolk Navy Base. And the Coast Guard, you're only about 20 minutes away from the Coast Guard Base in Portsmouth. And if you go towards uh, the beach, it's about 45 minutes or so to the beach. A couple of roads I want to mention here is that it is close to uh, the James River Bridge. The James River Bridge goes from the Carrollton section near Smithfield up towards the peninsula where Hampton, Newport News, uh, Williamsburg are all located. That's pretty handy because it's not it's away from the tunnel, so there are two tunnels that's on, that are on the eastern side that, that it is not connected to. So you can go straight to the peninsula and not to go th across those tunnels. So it's about 10 minutes or so from Carrollton across to the peninsula line over in Newport News. As you see here, me driving across the James River Bridge, it's just a long straight bridge, but positive here is no toll. So that's a pretty cool thing if you wanna get to Newport News and to that area pretty quickly. Carrollton becomes more of an attractive option. Now, as far as going south towards Suffolk, you have to connect towards the Route 17 road and then towards 64 that connects towards the southern side of like towards Suffolk and Chesapeake up towards Virginia Beach. Let's talk about the history, the brief history about Carrollton. Well, it is a small town, so there's not as much history about this city. Just know that Carrollton is named after the Carroll family who lived here in the 18th century, owned a lot of land in this area. And their family home is still intact in this area. I'll drive through it right now as you see it. So it's not as historic as places like Smithfield, which is just further west, as well as other cities like Suffolk, Virginia Beach, Norfolk. And this town is in the Isle of Wight County, which is a larger uh, wide scoping uh, county in this northwestern corner of Hampton Roads. That leads us to the real estate. So the, the biggest piece here is that people often search Carrollton because they're interested in somewhere a little bit away from all the action of Virginia Beach and the peninsula. Uh, but they also want to be close enough to, the, to where they're not feeling like they're super far away, like way in the country. And the idea is that Carrollton here is a nice balance of both. There are lots of newer subdivisions in this area. So you'll see if you're looking online on Zillow, for instance, you'll see a lot of newer houses in this area. And they're very nice looking houses, like anywhere from the 2000s, to, you know, 2010s, and new construction now still be, being built. Uh, and you can see that the prices are lower, comparatively speaking, to Virginia Beach or even like Chesapeake and Norfolk. You can get a nice like 2,500 square foot house, a nice neighborhood, in that 350 dollars to $400,000 price range, which in Virginia Beach, you might have to pay 450 dollars or more for that. Uh, so you might get like an extra room, a newer house in Carrollton, comparatively speaking to places like in Virginia Beach. That's a big plus, especially if you're trying to stay in that price range. You can get even lower than that. You can go under 300,000, under, under 200,000 in some cases, like those older, smaller brick ranches, for instance. You can get in that $200,000 price range. 
There are also some townhouses that are like in that low $200,000 price range as well. So the prices in here are mostly affordable. In addition to that, your taxes are lower too. So for a house in Virginia Beach, for instance, that's like $375,000, you might be paying about $3,500 a year in taxes. But for that same kind of house in Carrollton, you might only pay like $3,000, uh, for example. So several hundred dollars less. And so for monthly payment purposes, you do save uh, and it's a tangible difference. So that plus the price does make the payment less for moving to Carrollton. So now it's about figuring out is the drive to Carrollton from other parts of the area worth it to save that money. You'll see some great neighborhoods like Founders Point is a real nice neighborhood in Carrollton. So Founders Point's awesome. Like these are some awesome subdivisions, uh, floor plans, big wide open rooms, uh, that new construction style that, that people like and lots of new construction still being built in here. Now these price ranges are way up higher than that four, 450 I was talking about. We're talking fives, sixes, sevens and plus more than that. But you're still getting a lot for what you're paying for. And in the corner of Founders Point, there's a nice long dock you can walk out to and overlooks a body of water. And it's all for Founders Point residents. And the one you'll see quite a bit online, Eagle Harbor. This one's a real big subdivision, condos, single family houses. So if you're interested in Eagle Harbor, there are some cool amenities in this place. First of all, you've got a junior Olympic sized swimming pool. Basically it's a water park. And next to that is a putt-putt golf course. Then you've got a big lake with a boat dock. And so you can fish out there, you can kayak, uh, and up next to a huge field. So a bunch of activities you can do out there in that section. You've also got volleyball courts too. So you've got some unique things that aren't in most HOA uh, associations uh, in this area and a playground for kids too. And the subdivision is broken up into different pieces uh, down the, the main stretch of Carrollton. So several parts of Eagle Harbor are split up in and around the general uh, central location in Carrollton. We've got Ashby, Briarmead Estates, Carrollton Meadows, uh, Karis Brook, uh, Carrollton Forest, uh, there are a lot of great neighborhoods in Carrollton that are very nice and, and secluded. And, and some of these have some great trees. Now, while you have some subdivisions in that like two, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar price range, there are some that are higher, like five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars plus. Uh, great properties on the water as well. Now, one of the great things about being in Carrollton is the opportunity for new construction. And you'll find people that have built, you know, large houses on big, a, a bunch of acres. You can get a great price for lots and houses over here uh, relative to other places in the South Side, for instance. So if you want the seclusion, you want the big house, you want the, the large acreage, it's a great option and you're gonna still pay a decent amount, but it's going to be uh, more affordable than going into like for instance, Chesapeake or Virginia Beach, especially to get this kind of land because land in those other cities are often more scarce and the costs are higher. You can get a great bang for buck option in Carrollton and not be too terribly far away into the country. A lot of these houses also have some open floor plans. So you'll see online, you'll see some really nice houses in Carrollton. Um, so you see some pluses here. You've got a uh, low cost, uh, relatively speaking, you've got uh, lower taxes, uh, real estate taxes, you've got open floor plans, you've got newer houses in a lot of places. And you see on the map, you'll notice that the drive distance, even for instance, to Langley is about 30 minutes. So in a sense, that might not feel like too long of a drive if you're going to and commuting to different places. So this is a very, very intriguing area to move to or research, especially if you're looking online because the houses online look very, very appealing. So what are the drawbacks to living in Carrollton? This is what I want to get into to figure out, is this really, really worth it to move to for you? First of all, we've got shopping. Well, grocery stores. Uh, there aren't too many to choose from. Food Lion and there's one Kroger that's about 10 minutes away into Smithfield. So you've got a couple, especially one right in Carrollton, it's a, it's a Food Lion. The other ones are gonna be on the peninsula or headed towards the Suffolk area. You're talking 15 to 20 minutes away to those places. Now, in addition to that, you've got places like Target. Is there a Target over there? No, the closest one is uh, about 15 minutes away into Newport News in Hanton area, which is the theme here. You're gonna find that anything beyond your basic bare essentials, you might find you're driving 20, 15 to 20 to 25 minutes to get to the thing you're looking for. That could include uh, something like Walmart. It could include uh, other nicer uh, grocery stores. It could include Target. It could include a mall. And there are some stores in here, like don't get me wrong, it's not just Food Line or you know a couple grocery stores. There are some strip malls. There's some restaurants, Dunkin' Donuts, for instance, or Dunkin' and uh, like Rite Aid. There's some, some chains that have come in here. So there is stuff popping up, but it's just not widespread. The commute is another thing we've talked about before, 
But even though you're not like, you know, an hour and a half away to a lot of these places I've mentioned, you're also not 10 minutes away either. So unless you're working in Smithfield, like at Smithfield uh, Foods, for instance, you're not gonna have a quick commute either. Well, things to do in Carrollton. Well, <laughs> part of the reason for coming here is to get away from more of the activity in Virginia Beach, Chesapeake, or in the peninsula. Uh, so it does have uh, a big element of country feel. And so when you're driving past Carrollton or around Carrollton, you will see houses, you will see a couple stores here and there, but for the most part, you'll see a lot of country, lots of land. That being said, if you're in, in Eagle Harbor, uh, you have those, those little amenities there in Eagle Harbor in the HOA. And in addition to that, like you can go to Smithfield, there are some parks uh, near in Smithfield, and also there's one up just in the northwestern corner, uh, just past Carrollton. But there's not really a whole lot here. Uh, so if you do want to do a lot more like nightlife, gotta go to downtown Norfolk for the most part, or you can go also to the beach, but that's again, uh, 45 minutes plus away. You can even go up to the peninsula to uh, Williamsburg as well. So all the, the things that we've mentioned before in other videos I did about Williamsburg and about uh, Virginia Beach and Chesapeake, all those things to do, you can get to those places, you just can't get there very fast. <laughs> so there are drawbacks to living here, for sure. You know, you're getting the cheaper house, you're getting the, the open floor plan, the things that a lot of people are looking for in houses nowadays. But the drawback is if you do work outside of this area, you're gonna be driving for a while. And so um, while it's not gonna be an hour and a half, two hours, it's not gonna be a 10 minute drive to most workplaces, especially in the big spots like in the military. So it's all about counting the cost. How far away are you okay living and also getting the kind of house that you're looking for possibly cheaper? And how far away are you okay with living away from the beach, for instance? And some people that want to move to this area like being close to the beach. This does not get you uh, that same feel. But I will say if you're trying to plan a move and live in the peninsula area or work in the peninsula uh, and you are not too worried about a longer commute time, um, check out Carrollton because you might get a nice bang for your buck and get a great neighborhood in the process. I've done lots of videos about this area. I'll throw a couple here. And if you have any questions about living in Carrollton, Smithfield, anywhere, anywhere to Virginia Beach, to Chesapeake, let me know. I'll drop my contact information in the description and I will see you on the next video.